Okay, our, this is objective 16-1A. It's our new objective for the day. I will write just to show that I can explain that the Portuguese and Spanish were leaders in exploration who discovered new lands and people. So, when we're looking for the gist of something, we are looking for who or what is most important. When we're looking for the gist, what are we looking for? Who or what is most important. But we also need to know what we're not looking for. What we're not looking for are details or examples. So, what I'm going to do, and I want you to follow along because you all have highlighters, is I want you to follow along highlighting with me, okay? responsible for much of Portugal's success on the seas, known as Prince Henry the Navigator. Well, clearly, he seems to be who or what is most important. Why is he important? Much of Portugal's success. When we're highlighting, we don't need to see the whole paragraph highlight or the whole sentence highlighted. You just highlight the main or the important ideas. Okay, so Portugal's success. Prince Henry the Navigator, he built an observatory and a navigation school. So I could say, although he didn't go on any po voyages, Prince Henry the Navigator of Portugal built a school to teach sailors, paid people to go. Okay, so now with your partner and your highlighter, keeping your objective in mind, let's get into the highlighting on this and then we'll share out when you guys are done. I'm going to give you five minutes, maybe six, okay? Get to work, please. We should put Queen Isabella because she paid for him to for his trip. On October, he and his crew landed in the Bahamas instead of just the whole sentence. Yeah, it's better like that. Okay, remember your objectives about that they were leaders in the exploration, so the important thing to get on both of them, I think, don't you think, is what that it is they supposedly discovered? Okay. So it looks like you've got some good stuff on Columbus, but what about Cabral? What did we highlight? And be prepared to explain why, if I don't see how it's related to the objective. So you and your partner get together, start thinking about how to condense these ideas, and put it in a rough draft, okay? We could add in Columbus set sail and reached the Bahamas, but thought he reached Asia. He made um, he made three journeys. So our final gist, we hope, Columbus discovered North America and the Indians while traveling to Asia. Cabral found South America trying to get around Africa. In the Bahamas. No, it's not too much from my point of view. Okay, I took out some. Okay, how does this sound? Columbus sailed on three ships, but they didn't. Yeah, I know. 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 I Columbus discovered North America and the Indians while traveling to Asia. Cabral found South America trying to get around Africa. How many words? 20. 20 exactly? Yes. Blackjack, I love it. All right, one more time. Paula, defend your rating. I gave it a 4.5 only because at the end, when it said, um, was trying to go to Africa and then discovered South America. I don't know, I feel like the trying to go to Africa part kind of made it sound like it was an accident and the, um, the objective isn't really on accidentally discovered, it's just discovered. Making journeys to America, Columbus found land unknown to Europeans while Cabral discovered South America when sailing too far west. Wyatt, defend your rating. I give it a five because it was related to the objective and I like how it took a lot of information and just summed it up in like three or two words. A lot of condensation of, of ideas and concepts. Yeah, that was, that was totally a rock star. Go ahead and sit down. Excellent, you guys.